This video and hundreds more like it, available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to pick up where we left off, and uh, we've so far learned how to add some uh, text and uh, some shapes uh, to uh, pretty much a straight on, um, you're looking at a brick wall. And now we're going to do something a little bit, little bit differently, because we're going to learn how to do all of that, either a text or a shape, you can pick, we're going to do text right now. And we're going to add this to something that's been taken in perspective. So it's not so straightforward because now we've got to add some perspective to this. So the first thing that we need to do, of course, is just add some text. So I'm going to transform this, say, say that there's a uh, painted on here, there's something saying that this is a cycle line, for example. So I'm going to do this, cycle, cycle line. There we are. I'm just going to make this text a bit bigger here, Control and T. And okay, so now what we need to do is just apply this text in perspective first before we can make it seem like it was, you know, painted on properly. So the way that we do this is uh, we have to um, select our text. So we're going to do a control and uh, you can see your hand icon here changes. So control and click to select our text. We're going to do control and C to copy. So we're copying our text. We're going to unview that because we don't need this anymore. Deselect and create a new layer. So I've created a new layer, and this new layer, this is where we're going to paste on our text with the perspective. And the way that we do this is with our perspective tool called Vanishing Point. In Vanishing Point, you might have used this before. The way that you, you want to do is you want to simulate the plane of uh, the perspective, the perspective plane of this photo. So you want to find some cues, and this is a very good photo to find some cues because you can find some straight lines, some horizontal lines, and also some vertical lines as well because of the way that the bricks are laid out. So first we need to pick a line here. So we're going to go for an intersecting point where there is the beginning tops here of a brick. So we're going to click here, for example. So we're going to follow that line here. And we're going to follow that all the way across to where we see another fairly distant, you don't have to go all the way, but to another point where then you can see a line coming down here. So we're going to follow this line coming down over here to, for example, here. That's quite good. And now we're going to follow this line, and now we're going to try to match two lines. We're going to stay on the line that we're at, but we also want to match the vertical line with the line that we set for ourselves at the beginning, which is right there. It's okay if you run out of space and uh, to exactly where your mouse is, but you still have that blue cue there showing you when you are matching up the horizontal, the vertical part here to the left. If you run out of space, just do a control and minus for you to zoom out, and uh, you can set that over here like so. So it's fine if you run out of space, just make sure you're matching the plane. Click on that and you're fine. If you still need to tweak it, you can tweak it by the corners here. And now what we want to do is actually just extend our plane to cover uh, most of the uh, of the area here. So we're just clicking on the edges here and we're extending our plane. So this is where we're going to add our text. Make sure that our plane is where we want to add the text. I want the text to be around here, so the plane is sufficient of size here. If you wanted it to be around here, for example, then you need to extend it that much further. And now we're going to paste our text in. That's why we copied it. So we're going to do a Control and V to paste. And first you'll notice that it's not actually in perspective. That's because that's how you just paste it. It just goes without perspective. As soon as you click inside, you can see the selection area here. As soon as you click, don't let go, just click and then drag you see that then it, it starts to clip to the perspective. And you see that if you move it closer, it's bigger. If you move it further away, it's a lot smaller of a text. So we're going to put our text, for example, right here and click OK. So we have our text in perspective, ready to go. Cool. So that's probably the hardest part, actually, of this, because now you've probably done this before, right, the previous two times. So what we need to do here is go into our effects, blending options, and now we want to tweak here the underlying layer. So we want to move our black slider over, Alt and click to separate our slider, right? And now we want to move around our right slider over here to make sure that we have the right uh, realistic amount of white and the brick coming through. So I think that looks pretty good. But um, here it's more important actually, where you can see that um, it doesn't really make much sense for the whites to be coming through the black, the dark areas, because the, the paint wouldn't actually show through those areas. So we want to move our left slider to the right to actually clip that part and get rid of our uh, white areas in the black. So once you're satisfied with that, just tweak your uh, right one again, just to a point where you think it's realistic there. And I think we'll just leave it around 
here that looks pretty good let's see here yeah that's looking really good so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and uh, there we are we have our cycle lane um, painted on and it looks really realistic if you enjoyed this video show your support by subscribing rating and adding it to favorites leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you